What's the value of penguins? Did everyone look at the formula sheet? Statistical analysis, mean. So here we see the equation for mean. We have x bar is equal to the mean. Um, 1 over n, n being our sample size. So sample size, i equals 1. And then our x, i is looking at each of those individual values. This little e shape stands for summation. So it's telling us that we're going to add each of the values going from our first value to however number of values I have in my sample. Um, so here we see the question. Um, treatment of tomato plants with a growth hormone yields the following weights of tomatoes, 104, 82, 121, 96, 108, and 73 grams. What is the average weight of the tomato after treatment? I've given you the formula just as a quick reminder. I know that I have one, two, three, four, five, six different values. So N is equal to six. And let me go ahead and sub that in. So one over six, because there's a N of six, six summation I equals one and then X I. So if I go and I sub each of those values in, that means I'm going to say that one over six, so one over my N, and then I'm going to add the different values of I, X I together. So 104, 82, 121, 96, 108, and then 73. When we add those together, you get 584. And then we take that and divide by six, which is our N value. And it gives me 97.3. There is a way that you can shorten this up by using your TI-84 or your TI, whichever one you have. Um, so I did this specifically based on 84, so it might be slightly different if you're using a different TI. But you'll press that stat button, you'll go to edit, and you'll press number one, which is edit. Um, you'll then go to button, and then you'll press the enter. Um, so at the first L1, you're going to put all the values in there. You then quit out, then you'll press the second, then your mode, you'll press stat, then you'll press your calc number one, which is your one vowel um, statistics, then you press the enter button twice, and then it's going to give you um, X bar would be your mean. So I wanted to give you a moment that you could actually try this out yourself and see if you can solve this. So if you want to pause the video, um, you could then solve this problem with me. The initial mass of pumpkin cores was measured in grams. What is the average initial mass for the pumpkin cores? Around to the nearest hundredth. So notice that in this question, it tells us what value to give it to. Um, in AP Bio, I find that most of the questions are gonna tell you to what value to give it to, whether they'll say the hundredth or the tenth place or whole numbers. Um, and so just as a reminder, a whole number would be with no decimal, the tens place is this first value, and the hundreds would be that second value. Thousands would be if I had a third value out here. Um, and so they'll usually tell you what we're looking for. So here I'm looking at my one, two, three, four, five, six different values. So my n is equal to six. I then sub it into that equation, one over six, um, six summation i equals one xi, put each of those values into the equation. So 29.5 plus 28.45 plus 30.92 plus 29.25, 32.01 plus 31.67. That gives me 181.80, uh, sorry, 53. And divide that by six, that gives me 30.255. It tells me I need a round to the nearest hundred, so that's going to give me 30.26. Hope that was helpful. Remember, HBI Pay was just assessed by all.